start this look off by filling in our brows. I'm using Spike Brow Pencil by MAC Cosmetics and just following the natural arch of my brows. Now, as you guys can see, I completely cut off the tail end of my brows because I do not have a high arch. So I have to mimic that. I do have a video on how to do this if you would like to see it in greater detail. Um, and yeah, I'll be sure to leave that down in the description bar for you guys to check out for yourself. But in the meantime, you can just follow me here. So I filled in the top, the bottom, and now I'm filling in the center with Spike Brow Pencil. And just be sure to have a pretty light hand when, you do it, when you're doing this initially because you're going to go back and intensify it with another pencil. All right, so per the video, Nikki looks as if she has very intense brows or darker brows. So I'm using Smolder Eye Coal by MAC Cosmetics. It is a black eyeliner. So I am just filling the rest of my brow in with that, but I wanted to use Spiked just to kind of um, trace my brows out so that they would look as precise as possible. So depending on how much product you apply to the brow will determine how intense the brow looks. All right, so after that, I am just carving out the brow, making it more sharp. I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer in medium beige. I love LA Girls Pro Concealer. It is like the best product to use for underneath the brows. I used to use it for concealer, um, but I don't know, sometimes I just like a little bit more intensity and sometimes the LA Girl Pro Concealer cannot do that for me, but it definitely does the job for my brows. So I am going to also carve out the top just to define the brows a little bit more and make them stand out and be more apparent. I usually skip this step though, though on an everyday basis, um, but for this look, I am carving out the top of the brow. All right, so taking that same concealer, I am going to place it on my lids and then blend it out. This is going to be like my primer. I don't use primer or eye primer ever. I always use concealer, so um, that's what I'm using for this look as well. All right, taking the Lorac Pro Palette, I am using this color called Mauve from the Lorac Pro Palette. It is a matte eyeshadow, and I am actually taking the color up to my brow, as you guys can see. So Nikki likes to wear a cut crease. Sometimes it's more intense than other days. This one seems to be a little bit softer, so I'm doing that. Also from the Lorac Pro Palette, I am taking this color called Taupe, and a little bit below the mauve tone color, I'm going to place this color and intensify that kind of, sort of, not really cut crease. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so just remember guys, the name of the game is the more product you add, the more intense it will look. But just be sure to blend out your color if you're going to apply more color to the eye. So again, I'm doing the same thing on the other side, taking that taupe color and just blending this out. Oh, by the way, I'm using MAC Cosmetics 217 brush. Also from the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm taking a nude shade because Nikki seemed to have had a very frosty lid. So I'm going to mimic that and place that all on my lid. Now I'm using a flat brush, which I typically don't do. I typically use a 224, but I wanted this color to stand out a lot more and not be as blown out as I typically like it. So I am just using a flat shader brush to do so. Now, in all looks, we do not want any gaping holes, so I am going to take my 224 and just fill in any sparse areas on my eyes. So I'm taking that same color in, uh, what was it, nude, taking that same color in nude and just kind of blowing it out on my lid. All right, next, taking my favorite liner. This is Inglot. It is seriously the best liner you could ever use. 
Nikki had a definite defined liner, so I'm just making sure to do that as well with my eye. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you guys would like to have an actual tutorial on how to do the basic winged liner. But that's what I'm doing here. And the key to any winged liner is practice, guys, um, and taking small strokes. If you take small strokes, you'll less likely make mistakes. All right, so in the video, it seems as if she did not have on lashes, but I love lashes and I have to have some on. So I'm going to wear Ardell Wispy Lashes in the number 120s. These look so natural, like they literally look like I just put a load of mascara on my, on my lashes, but they're lashes and they're really cute for beginners who are not used to wearing lashes and just kind of want to introduce themselves to lashes. This is a great option. All right, I can't forget my mascara. I love Benefit Cosmetics, their real mascara. It just really intensifies any single look. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so next I'm gonna take my primer. That's Tarte Cosmetics Primer, Poreless Primer. And my foundation. So I'm using Revlon Color Stay MAC Mineralized Skin Finish twice. I like to do this because I am really feeling a very dewy finish, but not too dewy. So the Revlon Color Stay is a matte finish, but when I mix it with the Mineralize, I get a kind of sort of dewy finish, and I'm really, really liking that. It just makes my skin glow very, very nicely. So I'm using my favorite brush as of right now. This is the Morph brush. The kabuki brush I was talking to you guys about a few videos ago and just you know buffing on out that foundation of mine so make sure you do that all right so for the highlight I'm going to use this peach tone from MAC cosmetics and the pro long wear concealer in NC 35 so in the video Nikki looks to have while a very natural highlight it's still much lighter than what I normally wear so I opted for a lighter highlight to mimic the look, right? Of course. So I'm placing it in the same place as you always place highlighter, underneath the eye, down the bridge of the nose, on the forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And you guys know the drill. Just make sure that you blend out like nobody's business. I actually really like this little combo that I did with the Pro Longwear Concealer and the Studio Finish Concealer. Um, it's a color from their Pro Palette. It's like a peachy tone. But um, I like the finish that it gives my face, so I think I might have found a new highlighter. We'll see. I gave it a couple more tries. All right, so next we're going to set it. I am taking MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Loose Powder and a 224 brush and buffing out. Um, the concealer or the highlighter as well as setting that area so here's a little secret that I do on all of my clients instead of taking like a sponge or some other item that a lot of makeup artists might use I actually use a 224 brush to buff out my highlight as well as to set I find using smaller brushes allows me to control my product a lot better and I'm able to get into really small crevices of the face without having to make my client feel uncomfortable. So that's a little tidbit for you for all of you makeup artists out there or soon to be makeup artists. Try a 224 brush to blend out your product. So in the senile video, Nikki is rocking a contour, a soft contour, but contour nonetheless. So I'm going to use MAC Cosmetics in W45 Concealer just to kind of chisel out my cheekbones. Next I'm going to take a regular brush. Um, this is from MAC, it's just an angled brush. But I'm buffing out that color to make it a lot softer on my skin. So as you guys can see, at first it was really harsh and it was like, no bueno for that, right? But as soon as you buff it out, you get a very soft, very wearable contour. So as you guys can see, you know, the name of the game is blending. If you don't blend, you know, it just doesn't look right. So make sure you blend out. All right, to intensify this, I'm also going to use Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark to um, give myself more 
of a chiseled um, contour because Nikki has lost a significant amount of weight so her face is a lot smaller so in order to kind of mimic that I have to really contour. Taking Milani Cosmetics Baked Bronzer, I'm going to place that in the same place as my contour just to make my skin a little bit more bronzy because Nikki's skin looked really healthy and bronzy in the video. And then I'm going to follow that with one of MAC Cosmetics um, in Extreme Dimension Skin Finishes just to give myself a nice glow. So I like to take this in the same place as you see but a little bit higher and then I like to pull it down the brim of my nose a couple times, maybe seven, I'm not judging, down my cupid's bow, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. All right, so now we're on to the lips. So she definitely had a very chula lip, very 90s. When I saw the picture that she posted on Instagram, it really um, put me in mind of the 90s. I grew up in the 90s. Um, and my mom would wear her lips like this when I was coming up, only she used black liner. So in the video, Nikki used black liner as well, but that's a little too harsh to me. So I'm just using Bittersweet um, Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics. This is a chocolate brown pro longwear lip liner, and I'm not blending it out because true to the 90s and the 90s chula, you did not blend out that liner, honey, at all. <laughs> All right, and then follow it with the most ratchet gloss you can find at your local beauty supply store. <laughs> so this is just um, clear gloss. It's actually called Max, M-A-X, not Mac, Max. But it works, it works for the video, it works for the look, and I actually do like it. I only paid like a dollar for it. You guys know exactly what type of gloss I'm talking about. So crazy. It's so stereotypical, but it it is what it is. <laughs> all right, guys, and then once you're all done, you're ready to pucker up. And here is the final look. Listen, I had so much fun making this video, and as you guys can see, I just feel so gangsta right now. So let me feel gangsta, okay? Let me have my moment, and let me feel gangsta. Do you mind, okay? 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 <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Um, I had so much fun, so man, just let me know if you liked it. Um, as always, you guys can find me on Instagram. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys.